So I've got a, a, a drawing here and I can see that there's really only two layers in here. And if I go back to this drawing here, I can see that there's a large collection of layers and I, I, I want to maintain consistency with my standard or, you know, I would like to reuse these layers instead of having to recreate from scratch. So what can I do to um, get those layers in there? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch here so we can see both drawings at the same time. So I'm just going to tile these vertically. And one of the things I can use is actually use my match properties tool. Now, if you've never used match properties, you're really missing out here because it's one of the greatest tools ever. Because what you can do is you can take a source object and then using that source object, you can actually apply the properties of that source object to any type of object. So here's a case where it was on this hidden line and I was able to match properties. It works phenomenally for text because it'll match the styles and the heights, dimensions because it matches dimension styles and any overrides you might have. It's a, a great tool. What it also does though is it actually works across the drawing as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this drawing here, I'm going to start my match properties. I'm going to pick this line here. And this the layer that this line is on, actually let's just take a look at that. We can see it's actually on AM7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a match properties and actually take this line. I'm going to come over into this drawing and I'm actually going to match the properties. And as you can see now, if I come in here and pick this object here, notice it's now on AM7 and has actually introduced AM7 into my drawing. So the match properties actually works across drawings. Now, another way, um, if I'm going to use AM7 a lot, because you know what's my center line, um, and I always draw my center lines on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up my, my tool palettes here. And what I want to do is I want to add um, a tool palette here, or a tool into my tool palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag and drop this and I'm actually going to add this onto my tool palette. So now what I can see is that it's actually added the line, but more than just the line, it's really added a collection of drawing tools, right? So you can see circles and ellipses and, and polylines and stuff like that. So now anytime I click on this, we can see it's going to set AM7 as the active layer, and now I'm free to go on and actually draw on that particular layer. If I come in here and pick the circle, same thing. Notice how it sets AM7 and how it's um, drawn that. Now let's do the same thing. Let's uh, let's draw a hidden here, and let's uh, let's draw a circle on the hidden layer, and let's take this and let's drag and drop this. And I've now added that as my new object. So I'm going to go to my properties here, and I'm going to call this um, hidden. And the description is creates objects on the hidden layer. So we'll click OK and I've now got this hidden tool added to my palette, right? Simple. Um, one little tip here is when you, when, you, when you add an object, make sure you pick it so the grips appear, then click and drag it. So it's not a matter of clicking and dragging, you have to select it first, then you can add it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my robot handling cell here, and what I can see is that there is no hidden layer in here, so hidden layer doesn't exist. But now when I click on this, notice that the hidden layer has been introduced with all the same properties um, and we can see it's now been added. So now there's a hidden layer added to my drawing. So you probably can't see that because my window is too small, but the hidden layer has been added as you can see here, um, has been added to the drawing. So it's a great way if you've got a, a set of tools that you use a lot where you just want to you know, click and add and have that layer introduced automatically. Okay, well, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take all the layers that are in this um, particular drawing and I'd like to add them into the mounting plate here. So I'm going to actually going to go into my insert here and I'm going to, let's just close the tool palette for now. I'm going to click insert and what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for that drawing. So I'm going to browse for that robot handling cell and I'm going to click open. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to this is good. I'm going to click OK. And before I pick my insertion point, I'm actually just going to hit Escape. But what I can see here is that it actually went through and sucked all the layers into this drawing. So it's actually kind of built as intended because you know back in the in the glory days when you know everything was DOS based and you didn't have all these drag and drops and multiple windows and such like that, it was actually a great way to take an existing template and drop it in there and get those layers into your drawing. So you basically just insert any drawing in or your template. I mean templates work the same too, but you just drop in your um, your drawing 
don't actually insert it because you, you don't need it. And what it will do is bring in those layers as well. Now, what if I just needed um, individual layers? Well, if I just needed individual layers, a great way um, to, to work with this is you can actually use your, your design center. So with the design center, I can actually go into layers and I can actually pick the individual layers I want and I can actually drag and drop and just bring in those layers. So that's a great way too when you only need certain layers from a drawing. Again, why recreate um, when you can just go and access those. So the design center, um, you know, the design center works more than just blocks. I mean, there's dimension styles and there's layers. Um, as you can see here, multi-layer styles, text styles. Um, I'm in AutoCAD Mechanical, so layer groups are available in here. And it's just a matter of locating the items and dragging and dropping and bringing those in. So there you have it. There's um, some quick and easy ways to basically duplicate layers from an existing set. Again, why recreate when you can just reuse?